Hi, as the um, hi, as the weather is pretty horrible, it's all wet out there. I've decided to come inside with my uh, wire wall wheels and some rush treatment. I'm going to start cleaning all in there because I've got a weld in there for the repair on the bulkhead. So I figured, why not just get rid of all the rust that's in there? Give me a good surface to weld to, and maybe clean some of that up in the. Uh, but while they're cleaning this up, get some uh, rush treatment on there. And then when I come to weld my metal in, it'll have a nice area to work with. I'll get back with you when I've started doing some. Yep, this is today's uh, job. I've got to keep you, uh, keep you guys with videos. <laughs> the more I'm digging into this floor, the better I'm finding this one. There is still a lot of strength in this passenger floor. I'm beginning to wonder if I could actually save this floor and just do a half repair instead. Hmm. It's not as bad as it looks. Even up there, it's coming up extremely clean. It's all just surface rust. Um, I'm going to finish cleaning up the rest of that down there and cleaning up up there down there and then I'm going to rush treat that but the hole in there is really strong it's even clean on the inside of the metal in there apart from a little bit down there but it's not rot it's just rust and it's really looking like I only have to change the inner and outer seal and do a floor repair on this side if that is the case that is going to be fantastic and save a lot of money that I can put towards some other stuff on the car instead I mean I've even got all the, the caps one there as well I mean this chassis rail is a bit crispy but it doesn't look as bad as the other side but I'm more likely to change that anyway because when you buy them you can get them in a pair so I might as well just buy both of them and do both of them if, if that's the case um, but I've got a funny feeling that I can repair this floor rather than changing the whole thing we'll see I might still change it depends but otherwise it is looking extremely promising that I could actually save this floor and if that is the case that is going to be good because that's even more of the car I can save and anyway I'm going to finish cleaning up all in there and I'll get back to you when I've uh, made a bit of progress just wanted to update you on the floor situation here it is so far I've been wire wheeling it and so far this metal is coming up clean. How solid all that is. That rust in there will come out with the old sill. But otherwise, in there is not rusty. A few bits and bobs that's fell out of other stuff. But other than that, it is solid. All that has still got good shiny metal in there. Looks really nice. It's just a little crusty, but it's solid. It's not as bad as it looks. All this is good. All there is good apart from that little hole in the corner up there, which obviously you can see that I'm repairing that from within there. So it's looking really good. Just goes to show things don't look as bad as they do. As bad as they are, I mean. Never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> because that looks really, really crusty but it is solid. All, I need, all I'm going to do with that is put some rush treatment on it. Obviously clean it up, put some rush treatment on it and paint it. Because I don't want no uh, clean metal on this. I want it all painted to protect it for the future. No bare metal. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. 
I'll get back to you when I've cleaned it a bit more in the corners and stuff. And then I'm going to put some rush treatment on it. And then that'll be ready for when I wild all that metal in up there. So with all the work that I've been doing under the engine, in the engine bay, think about it. I've been also sort of repairing the floor, haven't I? <laughs> the footwell area. So by the time I finish the bulkhead area, in here is going to be pretty much done apart from the floor down here. So it's all coming together nicely. So, yep. Yeah. Also, these door cards are not as bad as I thought they were. This one I can replace the back on. That one's in very good condition. I like, just needs a good clean. It's just the pockets at the bottom there. I need to sort out on the bottom here. So it's to pull it apart, look all at the bottom. Somehow, if I can repair that, that'd be good. Um, also, have you got any ideas what I can recover these wooden trims with? Because the plastic, but whatever was on there before, has all peeled off. It's coming off in strands. So, comment on what I can do about that, what I can cover it with. Or whether I could sand it back and paint the plastics a similar colour. Or even just go black. I'd rather keep it the original colours though. So, I'm going to get back to doing some more of this. And I'll bring you back for an extra look. See you in a bit. Bring you back. That's what it's looking like so far. You can actually see all the rust leaving. I think I had the uh, other video in portrait mode because I'm in an awkward position here. Bent down in the footwell. But you can actually see all the rust coming off. It's so satisfying to watch. Look at that. You can actually start seeing all the bare metal coming back. I'm going to do this in some really thick paint when it comes to it. Some, something to protect the metal and also I'm thinking about that when I do the bulkhead there's places that old water I'm thinking about coming up with something that I implement tubing or something so the water runs through it rather than just sitting there same around the uh, head like bowl area where the water sits I might come up with something where it just drains the water straight out rather than sitting there. Some of it's a bad design, unfortunately. So I'm, I'll think of something to sort that. I'm going to go now and let this all soak in. But I'm really happy with how this is working. It's looking really good. rust get out of my cortina <laughs> no more rust I want you gone nasty stuff I'll bring you back when I finished right I'm gonna let that do its job probably just leave it soaking overnight and rinse it off tomorrow in the meantime I wanted your advice on something as this car is going to be a driver it's not going to just be sitting there being polished it's actually going to be dri a driver now I want to put a modern stereo in there but is that the right thing to do with it being a classic I don't, I can't, I don't know if I'd be able to stand just having long wave and medium wave. Plus, I want something a bit futuristic because I'm, I love my music. I'm also a bass head. All my vehicles, I've got subwoofers in and big speakers, you know, in the doors and stuff. Even my transit camper, I've put a subwoofer in that because I built a, a camper van myself out of a spares or repairs van that I bought and saved. It was going to go to the scrapyard. Anyway, and my Ford Focus Mark II, that's got a big 12-inch sub in the boot. 
and I was speaking to someone on Facebook who showed me a picture of his Cortina that he used to have in the footwells there that you had kick panel speakers and I think that is an amazing idea because I'd rather not cut holes in my doors so if I had kick panel speaker pods if I decided in the future that I wanted to remove them I can and it ain't gonna hurt my, my Cortina and in the boot you've got the little cover trims that go across the sides I was thinking of maybe implementing a subwoofer box in there with a 12 inch speaker in or a 10 inch but keeping it all discreet but I think I would rather have a modern stereo in there which would mean cutting this panel out but I'd keep the panel in case I change my mind and I can weld it back on but I don't fancy having an old long wave and medium wave radio especially when I love my music and Bluetooth and also I like to have st stereos, uh, dub double dins and stuff with GPS built in I don't mind losing the GPS but I can't no, <laughs> not an old stereo anyway I'm going to call it a day for today and I'm going to let that soak overnight and you can already see all the shiny metal coming back look that is amazing and I will get some I'll clean that off tomorrow and I'll get some primer on there temporarily there's no point in me painting it until everything's ready basically so everything I do I'll just primer for the time being so it's all, it's all looking good in there fantastic you gotta love getting rid of rust and just watching it go cutting bits of rusty metal out putting in new really exciting so i'm gonna say uh let me know what you think about the stereo do you think i'm mad if i put a modern one in it or do you reckon it'd be okay if i keep it all discreet like the speakers and the subwoofer like putting it in the back but making it look part of the car but i love my bass i love feeling the bass hitting my bones Probably be, be a good way of shaking the rust out of this, wouldn't it? If I put some ba uh, big speakers in here. <laughs> right. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully my other materials will come and I can get back on the bulkhead. I'm really itching to get back onto that. But as you all got, a lot of people wanted another video, I thought I'd come and do this to at least give you some content. Anyway, see you soon. I hope you enjoyed like and subscribe thank you guys for all your support